All hail the beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. If you're new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help you improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, I ask that you hit the subscribe button because you've come back to rock with your boy. On this channel, I often talk about fragrances and compliments. More specifically, fragrances that get compliments. And I know that the thought process behind that varies a ton. And there's a lot of research out there that kind of back my point up here in terms of how aromas tie back to how someone feels. Now, what I'll tell you in this video, we're gonna explore some fragrances that are a little bit naughty. <laughs> these fragrances are naughty. Not only do these fragrances get compliments, but they also call for attention. So today I'm gonna to give you seven naughty fragrances women want you to wear. First up on our list today, we have a fragrance from the house of Margiela. And no, it's not the one that you think I'm going to mention. Although I do have this passion and love for the fragrance called by the fireplace. Uh, this one actually is making today's list because, well, it garners attention. That fragrance also fits in the same space and the fragrance is Jazz Club. Now I know a lot of you out there already knew when I said it's not by the fireplace that I was going to go over to Jazz Club. And with this fragrance here, it ties me back to a occasion that it wasn't tied back to me. So someone I work with was looking for a fragrance and I'm like, hey, Go to Sephora and check out these fragrances. Now she happened to have her girlfriend with her and her girlfriend is not a fan of fragrances. However, this one here got her ready, okay? This one here is like, hey, you need that right now. And listen, this fragrance is amazing. So if you have not gotten your nose on Jazz Club, then here are a few things you need to know. Short description, this one is pink pepper. You have some rum, tobacco leaf, and it comes off in this heady type of way. Listen, if you, you're a fan of unique fragrances, I would say go for a fragrance like this. Jazz Club from Mason Mangella. Next up on our list, we have a 2020 release, but this one here is one that I didn't talk about last year because, well, I didn't have it until the top of this year. And this fragrance is dope okay this fragrance actually came to me by way of twisted lily this video isn't sponsored i just figured i'd mention it and this fragrance is from mancera and this one is vetiva sensual okay this fragrance here is woo -hoo! all right listen man this one is dope so you guys know that i am a fan of vetiva fragrances we look at tom ford gray vetiva we have the um rosia vetiva fragrance that is is really nice and this one here man Yes, this thing is dope. This has a different twist on vetiver from things that I've smelled and this comes off slightly sweet, um, slight, it's also lighter. It's not as earthy as you would get as a traditional vetiver fragrance, but it also has this sensual feel to it. Hence the name, <laughs> all in all. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, this one is a newer release, not in a ton of collections out there that I can think of. I mean, I, not that I've seen your collection or anything, <laughs> but I would imagine that it's not in as many collections as something like um, Chocolate Greedy, all right? So, Vetiver Sensual 2020 release. Get your nose on it. Try it out at the very least to see if it's something that floats your boat, but the ladies will enjoy this one. Now, the next fragrance on our list is one that I went back and forth trying to determine if I should put it on this list. When I leave it off the list, you guys are like, you should have put it on the list. When I put it on the list, some of you are like, you shouldn't have put it on the list. And today, I'm going to put it on the list. This one is Blood Orange. It's Almond. It's Marshmallow. And it's from my collection, with Now We Just Pop Farms. And this one is Soir Exclusive. All right, Soir Exclusive is this sensual scent that really works in those close encounter situations if you ask me but don't just take my word for it if you follow my Instagram page look I'm gonna put a story there of a highlight right? that's what they call a highlight and anyone who has it you know tag me and I'll go ahead and put what you have to say about it or if you already tagged me and I reposted it uh, I can go back and get that and add it to it listen this one has Tonka bean in it it's warm it's cozy it's inviting it's sensual and I really made this one specifically for those close encounter situations to engage in I feel that I hit the nail on the head with this one a lot of you have told me that b you nailed it on this one 
if you have not tried it we do have sample sets available and a discount going on right now where you do not pay the full retail of 195 you get this thing as low as 156 right now try it out swat exclusive from me and navitas parfums now if i'm speaking of naughty fragrances i cannot proceed without talking about this next fragrance because well it's in the name and the name has aphrodisiac in it so you know what that means <laughs> this fragrance comes from killian and the fragrance is back to black aphrodisiac right this fragrance is top tier listen a lot of the Killian fragrances that I came in with are like these dark fragrances that have the sensual vibe here. And this one is really no different. Again, it's spelled out in the name. This one is this twist of honey and honey in itself has this aphrodisiac feel. Dark, honey, sweet, woo, magnificent scent all around. In addition to the honey within this fragrance, you still have a ton of notes that go within this thing. Yeah, you have vanilla. This one is a woody oriental fragrance for, for anyone who cares, but this one has vanilla. You also have some saffron. You have nutmeg, you have cardamom, and the list goes on. Tonka, honey, obviously, as I already mentioned. Uh, this is just a really nice scent. So if you have not tried it, try this one out because yes it is super dope and for those of you out there who are wondering black phantom is still holds a special place in my heart okay is that a heart yeah okay still holds a special place in my heart but it's not on today's list <laughs> now this next fragrance on the list is one that i haven't uh talked about in a while all right i think whew, if i had to i don't know all right it's been it's been a quite some time since i talked about the scent but i gotta give credit where credit is due and this one comes from carolina herrera and this one is ch man Privé. i think cuba calls this one flippy top or flippy flippy or something like that shout out to cuba all right this fragrance here i think I don't know. I don't know last time I mentioned this one in the video, but I see this thing every day, okay? And this fragrance is nice, all right? This one is a great price point on this one too. Nothing too crazy. Mm, yeah, yeah. This one for me, at least when I look at designer fragrances, this almost has this niche quality feel to it because it's kind of unique. It takes a different twist on what you would expect from a designer scent, which is probably why I see this more often within their boutiques versus inside of big box retailers. But this one is a dope scent. You can pick this one up online for relatively inexpensive versus what you can pick it up at a boutique. Um, overall, really nice scent, man. Carolina Herrera, CH Man Privé. And the next fragrance on our list is said to have a crush experience you will never forget. And, well, that sounds naughty to me. The fragrance comes from Mancetta as well. And this one is Instant Crush. Now, Instant Crush is one that is a unisex fragrance, as a few of these fragrances are as well. But this one here um, definitely has that cozy, close encounter, sensual vibe that kind of makes this thing naughty. Simply put, Instant Crush is this fruity, component you have some vanilla here that's very sensual it's it's a quite plentiful as well and then there's also some sandalwood and ginger here to kind of complete the mixture this thing is is really nice um boom yeah yeah that, that's dope that's dope i forgot i need to twist it yeah so if you're looking for that instant um bfe or gfe experience then spray this thing on and go for it boyfriend experience girlfriend experience for those of you out there who are not hip to the game <laughs> it's out there. Uh, instant crush is the way to go solid contender on today's list of naughty fragrances ladies want you to wear and the final fragrance on our list today comes from the creator chris collins with the alchemy of fragrance collection or the fragrance house and this fragrance is called harlem nice now harlem nights comes from the original collection and this one is nice listen in the brief of this fragrance or the description of this fragrance it says that this one is for the nights okay where legendary things can happen <laughs> that sounds pretty naughty to me and i think it should be on the naughty list this one has some rum that's a bit naughty. Too many sips of rum and things can go crazy. But this one has this boozy quality to it. It's sensual. It's inviting at the same time. But it's also that 
man's man scent. You spray this thing on, you're gonna smell like you have it going on. You assure yourself you're confident, you're bold while still having that close encounter sensual type of personality that will draw them in. That's the type of guy who's going to wear this or at least to exude that type of feel, man. Harlem Nights from Chris Collins, a part of the first collection. For things I'm hearing about the second one, and I keep saying this, but I have to pick them up. Um, those, from what I'm hearing, are dope, okay? And probably will make this list as well. So check them out, all right? Visit the site. He sold in Nordstrom now. He's also now sold at Crystal Fragrance. So be sure to check him out. As always, I'm bringing you something fresh so you can be out there with confidence to get more compliments and help you out in the world, man. Whatever it is you out there doing, all right? As Chris Collins friggin' said, Harlem Knight said, man, legendary things happen at night. Be the rulers of the night. Be sensual, be naughty, all right? Listen, that's all I have for you guys and girls out there today. As always, I'm your boy. Big B, beat them with the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn.